Hey everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this very exciting tutorial, we will be learning about how to create this vintage TV effect that used in the safe and sound song by Capital Cities. So let's take a look at what we are going to create. As you see that in this song, half of the video looks vintage black and white with that old TV effect, and other side looks colorful. Which makes it looks great. This is what we are going to create. Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Vintage. Now drag the stock footage to our timeline like this. Now we have our dancing video. We can start creating our effect. We will use that black and white vintage effect on this left side of the video, just like in that song. Hold alt on your keyboard, and drag the video above like this, it will duplicate the footage. Select the top video track, and go to the effects and control panel. Click the Bezier pen tool. Now make a shape like this. Joint it. We created the mask for the left side, where we want our vintage effect. Go to the effects panel and type in curve. Drag the luma curve to the above video track. In the effects and control panel, change the output of the curve to luma. As you see our masked field became black and white. We will add some shadow to it. And increase the midtones a little. That looks good. Increase the mask feather until you can't see that sharp mask. Drag the mask little to the right. If I play it, there we have that black and white look on the left side of our video, and the colored version at the right side of the video. But you can tell, that it's not look as same as in the song. To create that vintage TV effect, I will simply use a third party plugin, Red Giant's Misfire effect. Go to the effects panel and type in misfire. Select the scratches misfire, dust misfire, and flicker misfire. Drag all the three effects to our above video track. If I play it. That looks super good. We achieved that vintage TV effect just like in that song. But not all of us can buy Red Giant's preset. Don't worry, I will show you different method without using any third party plugin. I will just delete the red giant's misfire effects. All three of them. Now go to the effects panel and type in dust. Drag the dust and scratches effect to our video track like this. Go to the effects and control panel, and drag the time indicator to the beginning. Change the dust radius to 3. And keyframe both the radius and threshold like this. Place the time indicator at the end of the video. Change the threshold to 0 0.6 and radius to 6. Again go to the effects panel. This time we will type in noise. Drag the noise HLS effect to our above video track. In the control panel. Make sure that the time indicator is at the beginning. Now keyframe the lightness and place your time indicator at the end of the video. Change the lightness to 3%. We finished our vintage effect without any third party plugin. Now let's play it, and see how it looks. That looks perfect. 
You can add that flickering effect on it if you want. What you have to do is to search Vintage TV Effect on YouTube and download the effect, then place it above all of our video track. After that simply change the blend mode to multiply or overlay. That will give us that flicker effect. We finally at the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss any upcoming amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial, stay happy. Thank you.